So today's question is, can you use integer graphics alongside with your dedicated GPU? Let's figure that out. So I'm going to go into BIOS and we're going to go disable the game mode or integer graphics in general. Just disable them and see what performance we're getting. And then we'll go ahead and enable them and see what kind of performance we are getting then. So let's go disable them first. Now for testing purpose, I'm not going to be using my um, display right here uh, on my case, just because um, I don't want any interference while we're running performance benchmark or anything like that. So our first test, we're going to run with game mode disable with integrated graphics. Our cable is still plugged into the 5070 Ti. For our multi-score, we got 42,654 PTS. Let's check out single core scores. While we're checking single core scores, let me read you some of the comments I got on the video I made uh, about integrated graphics, like the short video. So there's one of the comments says, give your PC away, you don't deserve it. That's someone else right here. There we go. You're wrong, delete channel. Man, I haven't even started making videos yet. These are my few early on videos and you guys are already hating on me like that. How am I gonna make any YouTube videos then? All right, um, and then, you know, these are just the hate comments or whatever. And then we got um, actual people, like, you know, people who are actually in, investing in this, um, saying that it will not work, it's not SLI. Uh, here, I'll put, I'll, I'm gonna put these right here so you can read along with me. So we got one of the comments saying, you do know you can't use them both to render a single scene, which I never claim to render anything. Um, it's not like SLI. If you plug your display cable into motherboard, you'll use integrated graphics. That's what he's trying to say. If it's in the GPU, which it is, it will use the GPU, yes. You can, however, plug one monitor into the motherboard and one monitor into the GPU to say VRAM. But other than that, the benefit pretty much ends there. And all I end up replying to this comment saying, yes, I know it's not SLI. I'm just showing what worked for me and there's no hate. You know, if you don't like it, you don't have to do it. But then someone else comes along and said, I think it's more likely that you got different score for some other reason there can be many or you did something wrong while testing your pc your pc won't even use the integrated graphics on your cpu unless you have a monitor that's plugged into motherboard so we go back and forth back and forth back and forth and here's one of the analogy this guy throws at me he says that's not possible unless your motherboard got some weird pass through it's like saying your truck will go faster if you got a dirt bike strap on the back because now you have more horsepower in the car. Make no sense. Of course, it doesn't make any sense because I used to be a heavy duty mechanic for trucks. I wouldn't tell you to put that in there. Yeah, that's it. It's just, it gets crazy. But I replied with, that's a fun analogy but not really how it works. I'm not trying to stack horsepower. It's more like letting the dirt bike handle pizza delivery so the truck can haul serious load without wasting gas. Windows 11 just switches the iGPU for light apps, which leaves the DGPU focused on heavy tasks. It's actually smart. So I will show you that, what I mean by that. All right, our single core test is completed and we got 2270. Let's go ahead and load up PC Mark 10. And guys, we have a score of 
9,683. That's with OBS running, just recording 4K screen, you know, game mode disabled, um, no integrated graphics. We're not using any of those. And uh, yeah, this is the score. So now I'm gonna go ahead in BIOS and enable the game mode for integrated graphics. We're still leaving my HDMI plugged into the 5070 Ti. So over here, you can see X3D gaming mode. A lot of people are confusing integrated graphics setting that I told them with this. Uh, we're not enabling this. If we'll go ahead and go into advanced, then we'll go ahead and go into advanced settings and then we'll go ahead and where it says integrated graphic config or integrated graphics this is your cpu graphics i went through different one of these i went through force i went through um, uma auto um and you know force and uma auto did not work for me uh, i don't know why it just didn't but when i looked underneath uh where i hover over it says right underneath game mode will allocate system memory dynamically for the best use of integrated graphics. So that kind of clicked. So I was like, you know what, let's enable it. I never enabled it before. We'll go ahead and enable it. So we'll do it now. So enabled and see right here, not using IGD, which is integrated graphic, you know, primary. No, I'm not using that. I'm using PCIe graphic card which is the dedicated GPU 5070 Ti, so PEG. So let's go. We'll load back into Windows. Now, first thing first, let's open up Cinebench and start that multi-core. There we go. What kind of performance are we looking for? I don't know. All right, so we got a boost. We got 43,719. Let's start the single core as well. This is getting juicy. And would you look at that? We got 2281. Yes, that's a performance boost. All right, let's run PC Mark 10 and let's see what the score is there. So our score is higher in PC Mark 10 as well, which is 10,462 points. And remind you, the OBS is still working trying to record this. So if I'm not using OBS, it's even higher. So yeah. All right. That's my set of benchmarking. Now let's go jump on Google and see if there's any other proof that is there are people actually using this method to get more performance out of their PC. We're back on Google. All right. Now let's look up, can you use iGPU and GPU at the same time? Okay. Google AI overview. Uh, it's all about AI, guys. Yes, it's possible to use both an integrated graphic processor, iGPU, and dedicated graphic card, GPU, at the same time. So in my scenario, what I'm using is for lighter apps. I'm not using for dual monitor, I'm using for lighter app. We can go on YouTube and we look at this, so we have a video of Zach's tech tariff and he's talking about here if can you can use GPU um, and integrated graphics from CPU at the same time. Yes, you can. Even he says he's one of the tech uh, channels. Even he says, yes, you can use both of them at the same time. 
depends where you get the boost. Uh, in gaming, you will not see a boost, but in productive work like um, DaVinci Resolve or Adobe, uh, you will see the performance difference. But it's not huge, but you will see the difference. My whole scenario for this is, if you can use them both at the same time, why not? You know, you're paying for it. You, you, you have this option. Why can't you just enable it? Just do it. That's, that's my take on it. All right, so we got another one of these videos where this guy is showing from two years ago says how to use your dedicated GPU together with Ryzen APU, which is basically integrated graphic um, on your PC for your CPU. So as you can see, even in his video, he's using integrated graphic to run his video player, uh, to run his um, Chrome, uh, play 4k video on chrome or something like that uh, It's possible Use it Let's go into the graphic settings I do have my um, Integrated graphics on right now in game mode Nexus the software I use to run my display right here It's gonna be using AMD integrated graphics there you go. My media player is gonna be using integral graphics, not the 5070 Ti, but it's gonna use integral graphics. Running, these are more uh, desktop applications, anything like that. Even Microsoft um, Store is using AMD integrated graphics. So this is what I meant when I said, you know, you can use your integrate graphics alongside with your dedicated graphic. Now, let me clear something out. It's just not gonna work on games. It's only gonna work for light applications. So see Cyberpunk, you, you can't run this here. Even Windows says, hey, run your Cyberpunk on 5070 Ti, which what we gonna do? Same thing. It says, let Windows decide high performance. So which means your high performance dedicated GPU for your camera. It's using integral graphics. For running your ADA64, any of these uh, tests, it's using 5070 Ti. So whenever you said, let Windows decide high performance, high performance means it's your DGPU. If it's there and you can use it, I would say use it and it's giving you a little bit of performance. Uh, Take it. Uh, you paying that much for your parts? You paying that much with tariffs and stuff? I always say it's worth experimenting with your tech. And you know, if you built your own PC or you even bought a PC, the whole reason you bought a PC is because you like the aspect of messing around with it. You know, seeing if you can improve it, seeing if you can uh, make it better. And that's my whole curiosity with this. And the whole reason I'm making this video is because to tell people do not be afraid to, you know, try the uh, different new uh, settings. Uh, yeah, you want to be careful, but also at the same time, do your research and then apply those settings. And if they work for you, happy, you know, it worked for you. If it doesn't, roll it back. What's the worst gonna happen, right? Um, so yeah, that's my whole take on it. I hope you guys liked my video. Um, hope I got to clear some of this out. Uh, I will not be making any more video on integrated graphic, especially about my build, uh, unless I change it, change the CPU or something like that. Uh, but yeah, that's, that's a different topic. But for now, no, no more of this integrated graphic uh, bullshit. Um, so I'm getting the performance boost. I'm going to use it. Your motherboard might not be compatible with that. So it's trial and error. Um, see if it works for you. See if it doesn't. If it works for you, put a thumbs up. If it doesn't work for you, 
put it down in the comment and tell me why it didn't work for you or what kind of system you were using and uh, you know so that way the other um, people who were you know looking to gain a little bit of performance or whatever you know want to experiment with their settings can know if they should try this out or not simple and for my next video i got something special so everyone keep telling me my cpu temps are way too high for my AO. and me sitting here i can hear the pump but the pump is making crazy sounds it's like it's almost like you know something is rubbing against each other in there so i don't know i put in a ticket for arctic uh and let's see what they say uh but meanwhile i'm switching my AIO to that right there i don't know if you can see it but that's going in there it's all about trials and errors till something works me letting you guys know this works for me this not it kind of gives you an idea overall broad idea okay this worked for this guy maybe it will work for me maybe it will not but the thing is you have to look according to your specs not just me any tech channels you see out there you know they throw a lot of settings uh, a lot of these nvidia um optimized settings too you know people are saying uh yeah you'll get 500 uh or 1000 frames per second if your graphic card is like 2060 super how are you getting thousand frames per second with in fortnite just with the optimization with nvidia like control panel my my 5070 ti can't do that even with dlss although fortnite doesn't have dlss yet or does it jeez i don't play games so i wouldn't know case closed